Welcome back. You're watching Shipshape TV. Boat improvement made easy. What you're looking at is a pair of 12 volt marine batteries. Welcome back. We are now on the east end of Long Island in Riverhead, New York at Lighthouse Marine Supply. And what I want to get into now is I want to help everybody at home try to prolong the life expectancy of these very expensive batteries. And that leads us to this guy right over here. This is Cleet Glasso, the owner. Hey, John. Hi, Cleet. How Great are. to have you back on the program. Thank you. Cleet, you're known as the part man. And here at Lighthouse Marine Supply, the place is just jam-packed full of bow gear. I see that we have here a little history lesson. And what's this first example? Well, John, this is an older style battery charger. As you can see, it was very bulky. It's very heavy. It had a transformer in it. It had capacitors in it. It made a little hum all the time when it was plugged in. And the biggest disadvantage was that if your line voltage coming in was, say, only 105 volts, then this 60 amp charger would only put out about 44, 45 amps. Okay, and that means that your batteries aren't going to come fully up to charge. Now, technology has changed. We no longer have transformers and capacitors in today's battery chargers. What do you recommend for boaters battery charge wise? This particular brand is Progressive Dynamics, and we love them. Uh, they're well made. As you can see, they're smaller in size. They're I don't lighter. see any transformers or any capacitors no, no. or anything all like that in there. All printed circuit boards. These have four functions. They have a boost mode so that if your batteries are low, it'll quickly charge the batteries to about 90%. Okay. And then while you're at the dock, if you're using 12 volt system, it'll keep the battery voltage up. And then when you leave the boat during the week, it'll leave a small charge into the battery to keep the battery up for when you come back. That's on the like weekend. trickle charging, right? Correct. Now, correct. is this true? Can, can you, with a trickle charger, okay, if you don't have the right battery charger, can you cook your batteries? Can you boil them? Can you ruin them? Yes, you can. But what's nice about the Progressive Dynamics battery charger is it has a fourth mode. Every 30 hours, it'll kind of like wake the battery up like an alarm clock and just say, hey, you know, don't fall asleep on us. Okay. And that'll prolong the life expectancy of a battery. So it's not a constant trickle charge. It's Correct. a methodical one that's going to give you longer life. Battery isolators. What type of a boat needs and really should have a battery isolator on them? Well, a battery isolator is used mostly on inboard boats. And it's designed so that one alternator can charge either the house battery or the engine battery. If the house battery needs a charge, it'll sense it and send the voltage to the house battery. If the engine battery needs a charge, it'll sense that and it'll send voltage to the engine battery. Can an outboard boat use a battery isolator or is it too challenging to get into the wiring of the alternator? Well, on an outboard boat, it's a little more difficult to get to the charging system. So Blue Seas came out with a great new battery switch and a relay, which allows you to charge the house battery or the start battery with one simple installation. This is probably the most common battery switch in the marine industry. This is a Perco and it has different positions. There's the off position, there's number one, all, and number two. Now off is pretty self-explanatory, but how these work is an alternator on an engine is designed to just charge one battery at a time. Okay, so when you want to charge battery one, you turn it to battery one. When you want to charge to battery two, you turn it to position number two. Where do you use the all? The only time you want to use all is if your start battery is a little weak and you need a little extra bump. So you turn it to all, start the engine, and then either put it to one or two. Here's also something that's really important. Guys, whenever you're running the boat, don't ever have somebody turn the battery switch to off. What happens? Well, then the juice has no place to go. It backs up into the alternator and it'll pop a diode in the alternator. Awesome. Okay, we told people that your warehouse is just jam packed full of gear. But what's really cool, what's new, is the website. I don't know if you guys have gone to partman.com lately, but they're keeping all of their inventory kind of current in real time, letting you know if they have that part you need or not. And there are so many online places or you'll go to a big box store and you'll need a part for a boat immediately and they'll say hey no problem but it is on back order you're not going to get it for three or four weeks you're jam-packing UPS trucks every day 
do ship from marine parks all over the world. Again, give everybody at home the website so they can check out all the marine parks. Parkman.com. The tool shed's still open, so stick around. ShipShape TV will be back in a flash.